All right, welcome back y'all. So we've got another recraft today and this one was actually sent to us by Philip. Um, he had actually found us or we found him um, on the Allen Edmonds Enthusiast group and um, he had a pair of shoes that he had resold from another cobbler and he wasn't happy with the work and um, we just you know started communicating. We said send them in, we'll see what we can do. And um, I'm not one that usually likes to talk bad about another cobbler's work, but sometimes you know you're going to get something that you're just not happy with. And um, in this case, it was pretty bad. As you can see in the, uh, the pictures, the, the welt was uh, completely worn down to where he, the stitches were popping off. He used white thread instead of using switching over to a colored thread. And then he just tried to like dye it brown and it never really looks the same. Um, he, you can see the bottoms of these things up around the toe, like he didn't trench. The stitches were jumping like four times the stitch width in a couple of spots. Uh, the heels were kind of a mismatched heel from the sole and the heel blocks were, there's gaps in it where it actually touches the sole. It just overall, I wouldn't have been happy with it either. And so we're going to take these, redo them and get them back the way they should have been done. But this welt's also going to be need to uh, get replaced as well. So let's get to it. All right. So he used some really long nails to go into these. These are actually day night. Um, hills and the soles on these are vibram studded uh, i mean you, you can mix them but you know when when vibram makes one or the other i just stick with the whole thing now what it looks like to me is go ahead and get those two out of there it looks like the block was nailed on but it was probably sanded down to meet the height of this thick top lift and there's no heads left on here so there's nothing really holding this uh this block on. See how it just pops straight through? With my fingers. Man, this is glued on hard. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. This welt's coming off, and there's so much glue on this. We're just gonna cut the but dip down into the welt a little bit it's not that big a deal since this thing is going to be replaced but this has so much glue on it there's no reason to use this much glue So as I pull, look at this. This welt wasn't even stitched down. That just started pulling straight up. There's no reason, again, to use this much glue. Yep, so that thing was shot. Um, little patchwork of cork that is so glued in there I'm gonna have to scrape this stuff out okay so this shoe originally had a rubber bottom um, at least that's what most of them come with Allen Edmonds now they may have changed it but there was a little bit extra layer in the sole where this individual just put on the rubber um, studded we're gonna put on a thin midsole. Anytime you're putting on rubber soles, usually nine times out of 10, there's a leather midsole, different thicknesses, but there's another midsole. So we're gonna add one of those back in.
Some Allen Evans don't have shanks. This one did, it had a wood shank, but this thing had so much glue in it that when we were removing it, it just started cracking into pieces. So we are gonna replace it with a steel shank that's about the same uh, thickness as the other one. So we normally would do black on this, but it's kind of bland. So I think the orange will kind of pop with this uh, kind of cognac color. All right, so we're gonna do something a little bit different with the hill blocks. Normally, um, you've seen us do it in many, many different ways, but this little piece right here that we cut and kind of mold into a horseshoe, the, um, the, uh, the hill ran, normally that goes face down and then you start your layers up. I've noticed something coming out of some of the Allen Edmonds that we've been opening up uh, lately. And if they actually do have a leather block, uh, this part is actually sandwiched in between two layers. So, hey, we're just gonna experiment and I wanna see um, what the difference is. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna mess up, so we're not worried about that. Um, but we're just gonna, instead of doing it this way down, we're gonna flip it over and then the next piece will go on top of there. So, let's go.
All right, so we're gonna shoot some nails in these with using our nailing machine. And now we normally, on the studded ones, we're usually doing day night, we can actually nail physical nails in because you can see on a day night, they actually have holes for the nails. On the Vibram, they do not. But um, shooting nails in them and nailing the block zone and doing a, lot, a really good glue job, it's gonna do the same thing, so. So that wraps up this pair of Allen Edmonds Chelsea boots. Um, now, just a little disclosure. We actually did this pro bono. Um, you know, sometimes in our free time, we'll, we'll get an itch and if we come across something in um, social media or whatnot, we'll, we'll reach out. But uh, we didn't do anything to the uppers. Well, it was a free job. Uh, but these look a lot better than when the guy got them back from the last job. So just a little recap of what we did. We did have to replace the welt on those. Um, we, we wanted to keep the original soles because I assume that that's what the guy wanted from the get-go. He, he got them from the other cobbler, so we, we stuck with those. And then we put the matching Vibram studded heel that goes along with the sole. And then we gave some stack leather blocks and um, did a good stitch job this time. Uh, we put orange on the bottom, like we mentioned, just adds a little pop, kind of goes along with the color of the leather. But don't get any ideas, y'all. Don't go throwing all this, you know, stuff, free stuff at us. We, uh, we, we'll, we'll, we'll do it occasionally, but we like to give back. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, give us a comment if you like it. If you don't, eh, we like to read them all. Till next time, y'all have a good one.